as a start, we will be starting by geotechnical sensor bases. Uh, what does it do and how does it do it? So we need to know that during a monitoring project, many parameters like pressure, temperature, tilt, and other factors will help us to have a better understanding of the behavior and displacement in the monitoring project. So we need to know uh, that for each of these parameters, we have a sensor that can measure it. For example, we have the piezometer. So the piezometer can help us to determine the water table level, fluctuation, and trends over time in wells or other subsurface water sources. So at the same time, it can be used to assess soil or rock stability in construction projects like tunnels, dams, to prevent landslides or other structure failures. Also, we have the strain gauges. Uh, strain gauges are used to measure stress and strain within earth structures, such as slopes and retaining walls. Uh, it helps to assess uh, the interaction between the soil and structures, like foundations. They can measure the deformation and stress uh, disruption caused by external loads or ground movements. It can also be used to measure the load and performance of ground anchors and tiebacks in soils, nailings, and anchor retaining wall system. Uh, at the same time, we have the crack meters. Uh, crack meters are commonly employed in monitoring buildings, uh, bridges, dams, and tunnels for potential structure issues. It measures the relative movement between two points in opposite sides of a crack. Uh, it can be employed to monitor the stability of retaining structures like retaining walls and bridges abutment. Uh, it can be used to monitor the stability of excavated slopes. It can detect sign of distress or potential failures. Uh, at the same time, uh, the behavior of surrounding rock masses during tunnel excavation, ensuring the stability of the support system and overall safety. We have also the extension meter. Uh, basically, the extension meter are used to measure lens, monitoring lens. So it can monitor the settlement of the foundation in real time. It provides valuable information to evaluate the uh, performance of various foundation types like piles. At the, at the same time, they are used uh, during the construction to monitor the surrounding soil and rock displacement, helping engineers to ensure the construction safety and stability as it progresses. Uh, as you can see here in the slide, we have a weather, weather station, and the weather station uh, collect essentially climate data, such as temperature, rain, humidity, and wind speed, which helps geotechnical engineer to understand the effect of weather on soil behavior and infrastructure. We have also tilt meters. Uh, so the tilt meter are geotechnical sensor used to measure the angular deviation of its surface from a vertical or horizontal plane. We can find uh, biaxial or triaxial tilt meter, and some of them can measure distance using uh, laser sensors that can help us to know if there is any settlement around. Uh, here we can see that we have three different types of tilt sensors, the laser tilt, the 90X, and the tilt 90I, which is more vibration resistant and mostly used in rail monitoring applications.